never dyed my hair before. I bleach it. I just started doing this a few months ago. Whenever I bleach my hair, I always go to a salon because I don't trust myself to not give myself chemical burns. I've definitely bought cheaper dyes that I've used by myself at home and then I've regretted it. It was more so just like, you know, I want a bit of a reddish tint in my hair, something that would look natural. I've only dyed my hair once before. I went full blonde. It was a terrible mistake. It was a dark time of my life. I'm really careful about my hair. I don't really trust myself with my hair. For best results, start with clean, unconditioned, dry hair. Full coverage shades work best with pre-bleached, platinum to medium blonde hair. Oh my god. I look like, like a character out of Guitar Hero or something. Color will fade with each shampoo and may last up to 40 washes. Apply evenly with a tint brush, just enough to saturate hair. I honestly didn't think I would be like as into it as I'm feeling our end. So I just finally washed my hair for the first time. And you can see like it's fading, like really fast. It's been, it'll be a week tomorrow since I dyed it. I've washed it about three or four times now. It's, I think it's holding really well. You can really see that it kind of hugged onto where my hair was bleached. This is wash number six. We're still in good shape, still super bright. So I just washed my hair for the second time now, but it's just like so faded. Like look from the front, you can hardly tell that my hair was ever purple until I get to this weird like toupee looking thing. I'm about nine or 10 washes in now and my hair is definitely fading for sure. My only complaint is just that it's leaving me. <laughs> and that every single time I shower, I can just, you know, see it going down the drain. Here we are at what I believe is 15 washes. I mean, this part's definitely getting a lot lighter. Like, we are getting much more ombre action with the top turning kind of like magenta to pink. Um, but the bottom is still really, really, really bright. So I'm about 22 washes in now. I feel like I have one wash left before. It's completely gone. You know, I feel like I've learned things along the way, like how to like better preserve it and stuff. Like I probably could have, you know, used sulfate-free shampoo. It's probably worth doing some research and getting back about like semi-permanent um, dye options for preserving them. And it's been like a little over a month since I've did like dyed this. And it's basically all out of my hair. Like there's a twinge of it up here and over here. But other than that, it's basically all gone. about 24 washes, but as you can see, still very purple. The first couple of washes, like week to two weeks post hair dye, were really messy. Um, specifically the first time I washed my hair afterwards, my whole body came out of the shower purple and it completely dyed my nails on my fingers and toes. A bottle of the Special Effects hair dye is only $15 and I used 
less than half of it to dye my whole head. That is a pretty amazing value. If you're interested in experimenting with you know, colored hair in general, or at least trying a certain color, but you don't want to make that full monetary commitment of going to a professional, I think getting this bottle of hair dye is a great way to test the waters, see if you're into it, and see if you want to you know, invest that hundreds of dollars in the future with only paying 15 at first to, to see if it works or not.